Hello Aries! The month of January is going to help you guys step out of your comfort zone. If you feel you've already made that initial move, don't worry. There is something big coming in for you. If you're trying to expand and grow in one direction or another, you're going to feel a heightened sense of energy vibration. Any of the healing that you've been through, a lot of you, not all of you, but a lot of you have done really, really great and you've been in this place of being stagnant wondering if it's going to come in. Some people are a little bit stuck in anger and denial. You may have a little bit extra healing to do, but I do see and I am hearing that will be done for the majority of those individuals by the end of January. Now this stepping out of your comfort zone is going to bring something incredible in for you guys because you are working at it you're taking action and look it's not by chance that oh you can't see it but the queen of of wands is on the bottom of the deck and that represents you so this is a really great time and if you are not subscribed to my newsletter please check it out because i'm going to talk about in the january newsletter coming out the five signs that are going to benefit the most between january and march where growth is going to be tremendous now let's go a little bit deeper so you guys welcome to the channel i'm laurianne i hope you're doing well i wish each and every one of you a very happy new year i hope you had a wonderful holiday so yeah we're starting off with this five of cups energy and that is what i was talking about so i'm being guided for each zodiac sign to help you guys move into something new whether that be a career, a relationship, a, a new inner connection with yourself, a spiritual connection, whatever it is in your life that you've been thinking of, that's the direction that you're going to go. Not because I say so, because you're asking for it, right? You've been asking. And some of you are saying, I've been asking forever and it isn't here. Well, this is your window right now if it has not already happened. And again, if it has happened, it's time to move forward. So those of you who've been stuck, okay, and you've been feeling a lot of um, the denial, even some anger, but most of all, a, a sense of guilt, a sense of shame, like, why did I do that? I shouldn't have done that. I'm so embarrassed, especially when it comes to your finances, okay? Being emotionally attached to your home, to your surroundings, something I feel happened in that particular sector. They're saying, don't worry, okay? Because the tower, and the tower may show up in this reading, all right? But the tower comes along and it shakes us up. If we don't take action, the universe will. You have something better coming in, you see? So with this beautiful message right here, we've got the page of pentacles. And this is a new offer, a new opportunity to replace what you've been feeling guilty over. Some of you, this will be an apology. We're going to look at family in just a minute, you know, uh, and, and love and everything else as I do. But there's this, um, there's this offer that is going to help you feel safe. I'm hearing the word safe and secure. Now I'm looking down because of the fact that I feel that this has been going on for two dash three years for some of you. Now it may have happened in 2020 when everything changed around. Maybe you were going to get a certification and you did it and you're filled with regret. For some of you, this is about a relationship. Others of you, it is your financial sector. It's going to be different and unique to each and every one of you. But the overall message is this. You have something better getting ready to come in. 1111 is what I'm seeing for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Aries. 1111, you have a brand new beginning coming in. January is the month that's going to trigger that. And you can bet by mid-January, you're seeing things from a different angle. So if you've been upset, you're not upset. If you've been crying, you're going to stop crying because those first two weeks are extremely impactful. So let's pull a little bit more as we look at you. Some of you, this is really beautiful inner healing. You've been through a lot. Okay. You've been through a lot. You've seen so many different things and you have, you've learned your lessons for sure. And this is that alignment that you've been wanting the... The Page of Pentacles is about healing. It's about restoring your energy, right? And here we go. Mid-month, you're feeling victorious. And this, just so you know, um, 
When I do your guys' readings, I always ask for guidance before I start every zodiac sign. What is the overall energy for that particular time frame? And the Six of Wands was in the exact position right there, dead center. The Six of Wands feeling victorious. Now you are one of the five signs that, um, and please subscribe to my, my free newsletter where I'll talk about this more in depth. But you are one of the five signs that are going to benefit the most from the period of January, actually the end of December, all the way through March because of the moon cycle. So um, just go to the homepage, scroll down a little bit. It says subscribe and click right there and make sure you confirm your, your email once you get that. This is moving into a position where you are going to hold authority. Some of you are getting that certification. Maybe you thought you didn't get it. This is celebration over that, where you are proud. Your confidence is coming in full bore right around the 11th of January, okay? And it's going to be amazing. It truly, truly is. Because ones are going to be surrounding you everywhere, all over. You're going to see them all over the place. And you may have already started seeing those one, 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 one. Everywhere is one, a new beginning. And with that new beginning comes the release of something old, an ending to something else. Now, it could be you end a job and you get a new job, all right? Whatever the ending is was meant for you because here is the king of pentacles. So when we're looking at you overall in general, this is how much you've healed. This is how much you've grown. And you should feel confident. You should be proud of what you've been through. There is no more guilt. And if you got it, book the energy cord cutting virtual. I got a lot of things on my website to replace the single sessions that I'm, uh, will stop and they'll end on the 31st individual sessions, <coughs> private sessions. So this is a big, big moment. This is where that, that offer comes in. This might be a 90-day period of time for some of you, or you were in the 90-day time frame. And, I mean, let's look at it for real. You may have got written up, and that's you crying down there going, well, what did I do? Feeling guilty. And then here is, at the end of the month, you've got this big, amazing opportunity. Now, again, I feel this is going to run all the way through March for sure, but some of you is going to even extend into the month of May where it is going to be probably one of the biggest, most important years of your entire life to make big changes, make career directions, love and relationship decisions, choose whether or not you want to be in a relationship. It's all up to you. It's like the world is going to be your oyster. So if you haven't got a certification, get one. If you need to find out how, subscribe to my newsletter and we'll go into depth on that as well. Now, I feel for some of you, when it comes to family, let me grab a different deck. We're going to look at the challenges and family at the same time, okay? So, stay with me as I go through this, because it might be a little mixed up. They want me to do them both simultaneously. So, when it comes to challenges and adversities, there will be some. There is always. Remember, you got to let go of something old. Okay, well, that, if you think you already did, there's a finalization coming in. Whatever it is, it's going to take a lot of courage and strength for you to actually make this change. Of course it is, because it's new. You haven't done it. You may be very, very excited. Your passion itself may return. But there's still that uh, hesitancy that we have because it's unknown territory. We don't know what's on the other side. There is no guarantee. You're starting your own business. There's no guarantee even going to a job, a big corporation. And this is a big corporation, okay, when we get down there. Whatever is going on for you, all right? They're saying that you have all the strength, the inner strength to accomplish, accomplish this task. You already know what you're capable of doing, Aries. You feel it inside of you, and you know that you are guided. You are never, ever alone. You may have moments of loneliness, but that is an illusion. It isn't real. They want you to know it's time for you to turn around and move diagonally. Pick up your head and move diagonally. Because it's in the diagonal angle that you're going to see something you couldn't see. 
straight on, you missed it. Behind you, you missed it. Sideways, you missed it. So look diagonally, and you're going to see that life and soul purpose. You're going to see your true calling, and your true calling is going to lead you to the King of Pentacles. That is permanency, that's stability, that is absolute security in your own home, in your own environment. And it doesn't have to mean you buy a home, own a home. It means you are secure in where you live. You're secure in the world that you are creating. But not only that, this is going all the way up uh, between March and May for some of you. So you have plenty of time to continue and follow that momentum forward. Aries, this is a really incredible uh, message that they gave you, and I hope that that helps each and every one of you right there alone. Please share this video with other Aries so that they too can benefit because collective consciousness needs every single person. Now we have this beautiful card about the High Priestess, which is a challenge card. So is the Strength card. High Priestess means that you have heightened senses. You are aware. Your third eye is awake. Some of you are intuitives. Some of you are psychic mediums. Some of you are healers. It, it's in every single person has the ability to do this. It's more about tapping in and getting centered and grounded, right? Healing the inner body, healing the chakras around us, in us, and what goes through us from the universal energy. So this is an amazing, amazing time, but you will be challenged to have to turn on your intuition when it comes to this new direction. That means following your intuition. Yes, absolutely. Go get an opinion, book a reading with me. But when it comes to the final decision, you take all of this information, decipher it out, siphon out what is needed, let go what isn't, and then you look at that and make your decision. Because it is ultimately our responsibility and accountability when we make life choices. And this is a really big life choice. One that's going to lead you into, I'm seeing 20, okay? So 20 years, by the way, up is the future. <laughs> it hasn't happened yet. This hasn't been created yet. That's the future, present, and down here. If I look downward, that's the uh, past. So this is a big 20, a big 2-0, oh, that's 20 years, that's two decades worth of a career, of a relationship, of a new endeavor that's relocating to a new location, but it is solid, All right. So it's very beautiful energy, and again, that is a challenge to you. All right, now when it comes to family, you guys, you've got the Seven of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles is the Dark Knight, it represents a Dark Knight of the Soul. That may have been what triggered you right into that Five of Cups energy where you're feeling guilt and remorse. You may have somebody around you, and I do feel that you do. You have somebody around you that was in that kind of energy. Now, it could be your partner. It could have been your neighbor. It definitely was a friend or a family member, okay? Whoever this person is that I feel they, they pulled you with them. Not necessarily intentionally, but when you're around somebody who's depressed, it's depressing, okay? It gets, it, if you're around somebody who cries, you want to cry. And that's why a lot of people walk away from toxicity or people who are involved in toxic relationships because they don't want to get sucked into it. It is a challenge. It is. And it's going to take a lot of strength and courage to walk away from whoever this is to you. Now, for some of you, you've already done that. You have. The challenge they are going to be pulling at your energy. You're going to feel them in your energy field. All right. You're going to be feeling them, uh, hearing their name, seeing their name all over the place. Kind of like that soulmate twin flame journey. Doesn't mean that's them. All right. Stop right there. Don't get mad. Because if it's triggering you, that's where you want to hear the beginning of this video. Those of you who have healed over that, I'm saying you're going to see their name. You're going to be tempted to re, uh, go back and review what happened because the key piece of us lies within that soulmate twin flame journey. All right. The key missing link to our own identity, to our own soul connection, interconnection from spirit to us lies within that journey. And they trigger us to look for it. 
That's what's going on right here. So I feel that you have definitely conquered it for some of you. And again, I do believe it was a family member and they may be dealing with a lot of depression right now. And you might feel a little guilty about walking away. Remember, it's our journey. Don't leave them stranded. Of course, you know, do what you can to help them, but it isn't your job to heal them. Get them to a, a psychiatrist or a spiritual counselor like myself or anybody out there that can actually benefit them but it is their responsibility to walk through the journey. Just be there when uh, it's needed. Wow, that was a lot. That is really intense energy, some of you. And I want to know who, who that resonates with. Please leave a comment in my uh, box below. I want to hear your comment on that because that is heavy energy. A really heavy, heavy, heavy energy. So make sure that you don't just strand them, you know, like up and walk away and be gone and leave them on their own. Like make sure you help them out a little, but not to where it pulls you backwards. We have the, and that's probably the temptation itself is you want to fix it for them. Okay. We have the four of cups and you might be dealing with somebody in your family who's stuck and stubborn and they could be a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. Um, but they have that energy and it could very well be this person, okay, that I was talking about that's, that's going through the dark night of the soul. When we go through the dark night of the soul, we see not only what other people do, okay, that the wrongs that were done to us, we also see the wrongs that we do to other people. So it's everything, everything. And it usually happens like this. It goes so freaking fast. You're like, whoa, it's only been a half hour. And I just went through my entire life and saw, you know, 20 different things. Um, for those of you who've been through that, I want to hear that comment too, Aries. So whoever you're dealing with, I feel that they are getting ready to kind of come out of, of, of uh, withdrawal. They may be withdrawn right now, or you have been withdrawn but one thing's for sure, whoever this king is in your life, whoever that represents, you have a tendency to go back. So if you were in a toxic relationship and this is your ex and every time you're around your ex, you put your head down, you feel like you want to withdraw, I don't want to deal with you, and you you hide, right? And that's what happens. That's what exactly what happens that may be on the board. So the challenge is for you to have the strength and courage to move forward, to move past this situation and use your intuition so that it guides you so that you don't step into the water, you step on the rocks and move right past the river of whatever you're dealing with. All right, you guys, let's pull some cards when it comes to relationships, okay? There really is, it's gonna be an amazing month. It's gonna feel like fresh, there's a sense of freshness. Even when you walk outside, no matter where you live, there'll be something around you that'll make you, it, it could be somebody doing their laundry, you know, and he's coming out the vent and you're like, oh, that smells so good, you know, the downy or whatever they put in there. But um, you know, it comes out the back end of the house, right? But whatever it is, it's going to really lift you up and it's going to make you say, yeah, I get it now. I get it. I get it. And come back to this reading and let me know when that happens. So those of you, we're going to look at uh, couples and singles, but we're also going to look at those of you who don't want love at all. Like, I'm done. I don't have any issues, but I'm done. Or maybe you do. Maybe that was your story and you're not ready. There is something coming in on the horizon for you, and this is going to be really, really cool for you. The reason it's going to be cool for you is it's going to pull you into, they're telling me a ladder of success, and I see a ladder going up, okay, uh, like, a, like a ladder to climb the roof. Uh, that kind of a ladder going up. It's going to make you climb those rungs. And those rungs are kind of far apart. Meaning it's going to take a little bit more strength for you to climb up those rungs. So it's important for you as you reach for what you're going to fall in love with. This new project, this new endeavor, this new career, travel, whatever it is. You're going to fall in love with it. You're going to become emotionally attached to it. Put all your time, all your heart, all your soul into it. And that is going to take a, a little bit of wear and tear on you. So they are saying make sure you are taking care of your body, your mind, feeding it with the right information, your uh, physical and emotional mental body, the other bodies around you, 
make sure that you are taking in proper nutrition and definitely I've heard three times while I'm talking to you hydration 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 all right so you make sure that especially those of you who are drinking a lot of caffeine in the winter time you might drink more caffeine or uh, whatever it is that you're drinking doesn't mean coffee and there's a lot of things that have caffeine in it you might be eating too much chocolate but whatever it is it's dehydrating you those of you who are in a relationship, all right, you and your partner have some healing to do, all right? Now, I feel that the, the whatever situation has already taken place for most of you, and I am seeing that it's right around two years. So two years ago, they may have lost their job and they've been sitting there causing havoc between the two of you. Anything could happen, anything. But whatever it was, it became the three of swords to you. It broke your heart. It hurt you. It hurt you. Now, I said something very similar in the Pisces reading. Uh, it was a different card, but the message is very, very similar. So if you're dealing with a Pisces or you have Pisces in your chart, please check that video out also. But this is the healing moment that's coming in, and it's coming in in, in January. This particular time frame is the right time frame for this to happen. If it happened two months ago, it wouldn't have lasted, okay? Now it will last. Now there's no holiday that you have to uh, stay together for the holiday or stay together for the kid. There's no excuses. Now it's a fresh new start. And you and your partner, I feel, are going to actually create, work together, and the communication that has been ended will be revived by mid to end of January. Now keep in mind, you have to heal your own body and that could be you with that Five of Cups energy in the beginning of this reading. This whole reading could be about you and your partner. Oh, stop, that's my dog, Captain Lovebug. Hey, hey, stop. <laughs> he makes a lot of noise back there. He has a blow up bed um, and he lays on it while I record these videos. And I'll be bringing him into these readings soon. Uh, we're going to do it a little bit different, so it's a little more fun for you and me and him. All right, let's look at our beautiful singles, okay? Now, single individual, you guys who were wanting love, who've been looking for love, look, you got the Ten of Swords. Now, it came in the reverse, and these are detail cards, which means I read them up and down. Each direction, for those of you who don't know, has different meanings, right? And the Ten of Swords is, is coming out where you've already been through a lot of duds, a lot of relationships that never really went anywhere. And if they did, they just ended and it always kind of left you feeling empty and almost, uh, so, well, I hear the word defiled. Okay, so some of you have been through some really toxic relationships and that can be that Ten of Swords energy. But you're coming out of it. That's the beauty of it, okay? January would be the Ace of Swords. And there you go. You're turning it into something new. Your, your chapter is changing when it comes to your love life. Why? Because you've changed. Because you've grown. And when we grow, we bring in those people. When we're mad, we bring in mad people. If we're toxic, we bring in toxic people. And toxic doesn't mean you do what they do. It means it's unhealthy way of mind, body, and soul, right? Unhealthiness. This is you saying, I am done, man. I have lived everything. I have learned everything. It's like being the queen of swords, all right? Where, where you might have uh, air energy in your chart for some of you, but it doesn't matter. You're pulling that energy into you. I've had enough. I only want a relationship that values me and my time and the people that I love around me, if it gets that far, which it will. And equally, you value them. There is honesty and truthfulness between the two of you. There's positive communication. That Ace of Swords, the sword is straight up, meaning excellent communication. You might even feel like they just fell right out of the sky. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, you're too good to be true. This person's going to come in. You're probably going to meet them or see their photograph. Somehow you're going to see this person in the month of January, if not talk to them. It's going to heighten between January and March. So you may see them in a virtual meeting. And then there's a secondary meeting where it's less people or maybe it's the two of you 
on a virtual meeting. This is all hypothetical. And then in the third month, you two physically meet in person. So it's going to be a little bit different for all of you, but the point is you're going to see them somewhere in the month of January, and by March, you're going to be talking to them. Now, don't go out looking for it because it just happens. Remember, keep your vibes up. You've got to keep your vibes up. So for those of you who don't know, I am changing the channel. I'm changing it in a different direction. I'll be doing these readings, okay, full-blown readings, every two weeks, okay? So there'll be two a month. They may pop up uh, half of the signs for the first week, uh, two weeks is in one week. So I'm going to be popping them in every week. So pay attention to what I'm putting in, but they are timeless. So it doesn't matter when you look at them. It matters that you are being inspired by them. Also, I'm getting rid of single service sessions. Okay. Um, I may bring them back later. I may change something for you guys where I'm not working one-on-one -on -one with people all the time. Okay. I need a little bit of a break. So I'll, uh, I'll bring something in where it might be easier, but the point is, I don't know when you can book a service through December 31st for single sessions, multi-sessions, multi-packs. Absolutely. We, cause we can work on the time frame. Trust. That's what I'm talking about. You have the overall energy of trust. Trust in you that you've made all of the, the necessary changes. Trust in you that you are now empowered, whoever you are, whatever it is you're doing, whatever growth is going on in your life, you have pulled back your power and you're ready to take it out into the world. Now that could be as an accountant that may be in a public uh, forum. It's unique and different for all of you. Your life and soul purpose is coming to fruition in the year of 2023 because of all the work because of the healing there is no arrogance around you there is no ego there is no overgiving you are in balance so trust that you have done everything that you need to do and the universe will have your back have an amazing january thank you so much for watching much love and light